The installation of 90 precast concrete arch segments for a tunnel project executed by Lafarge Precast Edmonton. The completed structure spans 224 feet in length, with a width of 68 feet and a height of 26 feet. The entire installation process, from design to production and assembly, was handled by Lafarge Precast Edmonton, demonstrating their expertise in delivering complex precast concrete solutions. Remarkably, the installation of the arch segments was completed in just two weeks. The construction employed a single crane, with the arch segments being placed in a staggered arrangement. This innovative approach enabled the team to efficiently manage the weight distribution during installation, providing stability throughout the process. Lafarge Edmonton's design features a fully circular arch profile without any flat sections, ensuring uniform load distribution across the tunnel. The construction of the SB Arch Bridge on the Busan Outer Ring Road, focusing on the Suyong River Bridge, showcases an innovative approach to bridge engineering in South Korea. Originally designed in 2014 using the PCT, pre-stressed concrete T-girder composite method, the Suyong River Bridge faced a significant redesign challenge when safety concerns arose due to collapses and accidents at other sites utilizing the same method. In response, the Korea Expressway Corporation and KCC began searching for a new construction method suitable for the bridge's 80-meter-long spans. The SB Arch method was ultimately selected with Haedong Bridge, a company experienced in this technique, chosen as the design contractor. The decision was based on the SB Arch method's advantages, including reduced steel usage and quicker construction timelines. Work commenced in July 2016, and within three months, the nine spans of the bridge had reached the preliminary assembly stage. Although the construction period was extended for pier installation, structural reviews allowed for design optimizations that ultimately shortened the schedule by three months. The SB Arch method involved the use of composite girders, which provided several benefits over traditional methods. The steel plates used in fabricating these girders met stringent quality standards, including Korean industrial standards and internal specifications, ensuring durability and strength. The steel plates were precision cut using computer-aided designs, and vertical and horizontal stiffeners were welded to prevent deformation. The assembly process followed a meticulous order. Small sections were first assembled, followed by larger components, with skilled welders conducting the final welding. A critical step in the fabrication was the trial assembly of completed girder blocks to ensure perfect alignment for installation. Once verified, the girders were disassembled into transportable sections and stored at the yard. For transportation to the construction site, rubber pads and protective measures were used to avoid surface damage during handling. The assembly at the construction site followed a precise order, based on a well-planned sequence that accounted for various factors like the positioning of bolts and joint fittings. The SB arch girders were lighter than traditional box girders due to a 30% reduction in steel use, allowing the entire 80-meter sections to be installed with a crane without the need for temporary supports. Concrete was poured inside the precast panels, filling the girders up to pre-installed stoppers. Subsequent finishing work included waterproofing and surface treatments to ensure long-term durability. This innovative approach not only reduced the construction period, but also significantly lowered costs, turning a potential financial loss into a profitable project. The precast concrete arch bridge system is an efficient and durable solution for modern bridge construction, combining mass concrete or precast concrete components. The system involves using prefabricated concrete elements that are manufactured off-site and then transported and assembled on-site, allowing for rapid construction and reduced project timelines. For a bridge measuring 98 meters in length and 43 meters in width, a well-designed precast arch system 
system offers several key advantages. The use of 365 tons of steel, integrated within the concrete elements, provides additional structural support, enhancing load-bearing capacity and ensuring the stability of the arch bridge under various traffic conditions. The steel reinforcement also contributes to the bridge's resistance to dynamic forces such as wind and seismic activity. The low-cost nature of precast construction arises from the economies of scale achieved in manufacturing the concrete components in a controlled environment. The precast elements are produced to precise specifications, minimizing material wastage and labor costs. On-site assembly is significantly quicker than traditional cast-in-place methods because the components are delivered ready for installation, reducing the need for extensive formwork, scaffolding, and prolonged curing times. High durability is a hallmark of the precast concrete arch bridge system. The materials used, including high-strength, concrete and quality steel, are resistant to environmental degradation, such as corrosion, freeze-thaw cycles, and chemical exposure. This extends the bridge's service life and lowers maintenance requirements over time. Precast pre-stressed concrete components, including segments and girders, have emerged as a transformative solution in the construction of public utility works. These components are manufactured in a controlled factory environment, allowing for superior quality control, enhanced durability, and efficient production processes. Once completed, they are transported to the construction site for rapid installation, significantly reducing on-site construction time. One of the key advantages of precast, pre-stressed concrete is its ability to withstand heavy loads and resist cracking, making it ideal for infrastructure projects such as bridges, highways, and utility structures. The pre-stressing process involves tensioning high-strength steel strands before the concrete is cast, enabling the components to bear greater loads without compromising structural integrity. This not only enhances the performance of the components, but also extends their lifespan, thereby reducing maintenance costs over time. In response to the challenges faced by the construction industry, including labor shortages and quality assurance issues, the adoption of pre-cast, pre-stressed concrete systems is gaining momentum. With the current scarcity of skilled labor, using precast components allows contractors to streamline their operations, relying on fewer workers on site while still achieving high quality results. Additionally, the standardized production process facilitates consistent quality, minimizing the risk of defects that can arise from on site casting. Pavels are essential deep foundation elements used in bridge construction and other structures to transfer loads to deeper, more stable soil or bedrock. They are designed to support heavy loads and provide stability, especially in areas with weak surface soils. The construction process begins with drilling a long shaft into the ground to a specified depth and diameter, which is determined by the engineering design. Once the shaft is created, a steel reinforcement cage is inserted to enhance the strength of the pile. The shaft is then filled with concrete, forming a solid column known as a pile. Multiple piles are grouped together and connected by a pile cap, which serves as a rigid foundation to distribute the loads from the structure evenly across the piles. The use of piles is crucial in ensuring that structures can withstand various forces, including vertical loads from the structure and lateral loads from wind or seismic activity, contributing to the overall stability and safety of the bridge. A pile cap is a thick, reinforced concrete slab that rests on a group of piles, serving to distribute the structural loads from the superstructure evenly across the piles beneath. It effectively transfers vertical and lateral loads to the piles, ensuring stability and minimizing differential settlement.
A pier is a vertical structural element that supports the superstructure of a bridge, connecting the bridge deck to the foundation. Piers transfer loads from the bridge to the pile cap and piles, providing stability and resistance to lateral forces. Bearings are critical components in bridge construction, allowing for the transfer of loads between the bridge superstructure and substructure. They accommodate movements caused by temperature changes, traffic loads, and seismic activity. Bearings enable rotation and translation of the structure, ensuring smooth movement while maintaining stability. Custom designed to meet specific engineering requirements, they play a vital role in the durability and performance of bridges. Bahrain's North Manama Causeway is a pivotal infrastructure project designed to enhance traffic flow and connectivity in the rapidly developing urban landscape of Manama, the capital city. As part of Bahrain's strategic road master plan, the causeway addresses growing traffic congestion and provides critical access to key areas such as Bahrain Bay and the Bahrain Financial Harbor. The North Manama Causeway serves both short-term and long-term goals. In the short term, it aims to alleviate traffic along Al Fateh Highway, particularly at its intersections with King Faisal Highway and Sheikh Hamad Bridge, which are vital conduits for daily commuters. Long term, it aligns with Bahrain Vision 2030, a comprehensive development plan that seeks to create a sustainable and efficient transport network. This new flyover and associated roads are integral to the planned highway network, linking Al Fateh Highway to the proposed fourth crossing between Manama and Busaitin, with over 160,000 vehicles traversing King Faisal Highway daily, the necessity for improved road infrastructure has become increasingly urgent. The North Manama Causeway is designed to meet these demands, serving as a crucial link to emerging mega-developments in the area. The causeway spans approximately 4 kilometers, featuring more than 3 kilometers of bridge structures. Its innovative construction employs a precast segmental balanced cantilever method, known for its efficiency and safety advantages. This method allows segments to be manufactured off-site in a controlled environment, ensuring high-quality standards and reducing on-site construction time. The foundation of the causeway is supported by piles that transfer loads to stable soil or bedrock. These piles are reinforced with concrete and connected to a pile cap, which helps distribute the load from the bridge structure evenly. Vertical supports, known as piers, connect the superstructure of the bridge to the foundation, providing essential stability. In addition to enhancing traffic flow, the North Manama Causeway incorporates stringent environmental management practices. Measures are in place to minimize noise, control dust, and manage water runoff during construction aligning with sustainable development principles. Quality control protocols ensure that all materials used meet rigorous standards, contributing to the longevity and safety of the structure. The journey of the last Super T girder, produced at a local manufacturing facility, was meticulously documented, highlighting the intricate logistics and coordination required for such a large-scale operation. Each girder, weighing approximately 70 tons and spanning up to 40 meters, had to be transported with precision to ensure safety and structural integrity. The final girder's delivery not only symbolizes the completion of a vital component of the crossing, but also reflects the dedication and expertise of the workers involved in its construction. The Tuwumba Second Range Crossing Project aims to alleviate traffic congestion in the area, enhance road safety, and provide a more efficient route for heavy vehicles. The construction of the viaduct, which features these Super T girders, plays a pivotal role in achieving these goals, allowing for smoother transit through the Toowoomba region. With the installation of the last girder, the project is now closer to completion, paving the way for enhanced connectivity and economic opportunities in Queensland.
The expansion of S-Bahn Line 13 represents a significant infrastructure project aimed at enhancing connectivity in the Cologne-Bonn region. Commissioned to facilitate transport between Troisdorf and bonn buell this project is pivotal for integrating Bonn with the Cologne-Bonn Airport via the S-Bahn network, thus improving accessibility and bolstering the region's economic potential. Vossing Engineer, in collaboration with partners Schussler Plan and DB Engineering and Consulting, has taken the lead in overseeing the construction works for this ambitious project. Stretching over approximately 13 kilometers, the project involves various phases of construction and coordination, extending over a period of nine years. This long-term commitment underscores the complexity and scale of the undertaking, which aims to modernize the existing transport infrastructure while ensuring minimal disruption to the public. The expansion of S-Bahn Line 13 is not merely a construction project. It represents a strategic initiative to enhance public transport in a rapidly developing area. By connecting Bonn to the airport, it aims to facilitate easier travel for residents, tourists, and business professionals. This improved connectivity is expected to stimulate economic growth, increase local employment opportunities, and promote regional development. A crucial component of the expansion project occurred in November 2018 when significant work was undertaken during a complete closure of the affected rail section. This phase involved the demolition of an aging railway overpass that had stood for nearly 100 years. The original structure, while historically significant, no longer met the needs of modern rail traffic and was deemed inadequate for the future demands of the S-Bahn network. The demolition process was a highly coordinated effort, involving careful planning and execution to ensure safety and efficiency. Following the removal of the old bridge, a new, wider bridge structure was inserted in its place. This new construction is designed to accommodate increased rail traffic and improve the overall safety and reliability of the S-Bahn service. To showcase the efficiency of the bridge demolition and insertion process, a time-lapse video was produced, condensing the four-day operation into just a few minutes. This visual documentation highlights not only the technical prowess involved in the project, but also the commitment to transparency and public engagement. Such media serve to inform the community about ongoing developments and the benefits that the expanded S-Bahn Line 13 will bring. Looking ahead, the expansion of S-Bahn Line 13 is set to transform public transportation in the region. Once completed, the upgraded line will provide faster, more reliable service, reducing travel times and increasing frequency. Additionally, the project aligns with broader environmental goals by promoting the use of public transport over private vehicles, thereby contributing to reduced carbon emissions and less traffic congestion.